Beach towns like Capitola are hoping that a surge in tourism will help them bounce back from the storms. Devin Feely's got that story. We definitely tried to get open as fast as we could, get people back to work. Along Capitola's storm-battered coast, the past few weeks and months have been a bit of a blur. A pell-mell rush to reopen in time for Memorial Day and the unofficial start of summer. Paradise Beach Girl manager Marco Kaiser describes what they had to overcome. Our entire dining room, we lost all the flooring. Any wood flooring that was inside basically busted up from it, from all the waves that came under the building. Back in January, a bomb cyclone packing a one-two punch of wind and waves hit Capitola Village like a battering ram. The storm surge lifted many of the beachfront businesses right off their foundations. You wouldn't know it now by looking at the new floor and newly renovated dining room, but back then, Paradise Beach was a disaster. We feel really fortunate. We had some really good people working on the project for us, um, which they're now sort of helping other establishments down the way. So it did sort of create um, some, some sense of community here. Paradise Beach is a bright spot in the story of Capitola's recovery, but there are still clouds shadowing the city's future. Its iconic wharf is out of commission, probably for another year. Repairs and renovations won't begin until sometime this fall. And several businesses in the village remain shuttered. For one reason or another, they weren't able to get the work done in time for the summer crowds. Margo, who also happens to be the city's mayor, says she's just grateful for her customers and 60 employees that they were able to weather the storm. I think everybody's looking forward to being busy and we're excited to have, you know, the influx of tourism. 